Guys, welcome to my channel, welcome to the garage. So I'm in the garage here, I've got a few projects I'm working on, I wanna give you a quick update on what's going on with this Model Y Long Range. This is my new one, I got this just a few months ago. I've been working this whole week on the PPF, the uh, paint protection film. Been an absolute like nightmare doing that. Um, turned out okay, but I'll, I'll give you guys kind of more updated video on that. This is my 2015 Model S, it's the P85D. Uh, but I want to talk, show you guys this uh, car that I just picked up. I got this yesterday, I wanna show you it as we're, uh, Guys, so this is the new project car for the garage. This is a 2013 Tesla Model S. It's a rear-wheel drive, 85 is the trim. So uh, in 2013, there was several different variants. There was like a 60, an 85, a, P, a P85. Uh, I think there was, might have been a P85 Plus. I'm not sure, but there's different variants. The, the number basically means the size of the battery. 85 was the biggest battery size you could get at this time. So it's an 85 kilowatt battery. New When this was new, the battery would charge up to 265 miles, and we just charge this up. I'll show you what this charges up to, but it almost charges up to about that same amount. So it makes me wonder whether the, the, this car has had a battery replacement uh, within the last couple of years, so that is possible. But it's this blue color, so I want to give you kind of a tour. Now, this was one of the cheapest Tesla Model S cars in the United States that was not salvaged, that doesn't have high voltage uh, battery problems. There is a couple issues that we're gonna have to address, but that's gonna be kind of the fun of the project is just kind of getting this thing addressed, getting it kind of it, everything all sorted out. So I'll show you just kind of an overview, a tour of the, the outside of the car. A couple scratches here and there. I mean, that, you know, this has 158,000 miles on it. So as you would expect, it has some wear and tear, scratches, things like that. Uh, but overall, I think this would polish up pretty good. Uh, this has the tan interior, so it's the blue, kind of a navy blue with the tan interior. One thing that was kind of odd is on the back here, there's some like some clear tape on the bumper kind of holding, I don't know if it's holding on there, but somehow it's, uh, we need to work out how those clips, what the clips are like on that. Let me show you the back here. This does not have the third row seat. It just has, you know, your storage down here with this been here the back here the cool thing with the model s is you got so much room because it's a hatchback uh, trunk you know you can lay these seats down you can lay these seats down you got a ton of storage room i mean it really can hold quite a bit it does have the technology package which gives us the power 85 kilowatt battery pack comes with the 19 inch wheels these are the standard base wheels so no, no upgrade there And the, uh, you know, the paint just needs a little, a little attention, probably a good polishing. Uh, there's some rock chips. There's a little scratch on the front here. Let me show you the inside. All right, here we are in the inside. The inside has this tan interior color. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of the tan. Uh, Tesla kind of went to the white. They still do a cream color, but this is kind of a more yellowish tan, which, uh, you know, it's, it's nice, but I probably prefer the all black one. Like on my other Model S, it's all black, which I like. But um, so like this sun visor is not staying up. So we just need to maybe see what's going on with that. Maybe we can fix that. Um, the screen, so take a look at the screen here. We're on the charging screen. Um, it charged up to almost 260 miles, which was, which was pretty good. I just had it on the trickle charge like a... Uh, you know, level one charger here. You can see, can you can you see on the screen, there's these, um, you can see how there's kind of like a, not a bleeding, but there's like a, this yellowing of the screen. And it looks like there's a liquid in there. Uh, that happens to these screens. That is normal. Unfortunately, that is normal. It also is happening on this screen in here. You see the gauge cluster here? See how it's kind of like bled down a little bit through there. That can be fixed. Uh, this still has the MCU-1, which is the Media Control Unit 1. We can upgrade to MCU-2. Um, that would replace both screens and give us faster response, get us the more upgraded features, processor, so it would work a lot better, but uh, that might be kind of down the road. has a little tray right here, put stuff, and then it has this big open floor area right here on the uh, center console. So this is kind of a nice storage area here. Got your two cup holders, did come with one key. The older uh, Teslas come with these keys where, you know, you double click the t top to unlock. Uh, you put double click the front to open, double click the back to open. So it's a cool little key fob. 
the 2013, so this is, being this is a 2013, uh, it does not have autopilot, so it has no, if we go into the computer here, uh, if we go to software, if you can see here, we don't have any kind of like driver assistant aids. It's not like, it, it does have cruise control, but it doesn't have like adaptive cruise or lane keep assist, so it's not gonna like be autopilot. So you can see here, uh, yeah, 157,000 miles. Premium connectivity it has, that's an included package. That, if you buy a new Tesla right now, that's a $100 a year option to buy that. So that's included in this, so that means it has its own data plan. This also has the standard suspension, which I think is good because we don't have to worry about replacing air suspension struts. Uh, this is just coilovers and shocks, so, because for longevity's sake, it's cheap, it's cheap to swap out struts and springs. This also doesn't have the sun, the, the sun, it has a panoramic glass roof, but it's not, there's no like, it's not like a sunroof that retracts, which is good too, because those have a tendency to leak over time. So as far as those things are concerned, it's, it's got some, some good options, base, base options that kind of make it a little easier when fixing things and it's going to avoid potential issues. One thing we're having problems with, not problem, but there's a warning right here, if you can see this on the dash, it says schedule service to replace low voltage battery. Uh, they're also the park assist is um, currently not working on that but yeah the schedule service to replace low voltage battery low voltage battery it, under the trunk front trunk there's a 12 volt battery and that powers all these electronics the screen the gauges the windows the electric seats the seat heaters all that's powered by a 12 volt battery and that can go that does go bad every three four years it needs to be replaced so that's not that big of a deal i'm actually going to take it into the tesla dealership this week in the next couple days, they're gonna replace that battery and they're gonna kinda of see if there's anything else, other problems. All right guys, I'm gonna go on a quick test drive here. Uh, I drove it last night when we got it. It has this, and I was aware of this when we got this, so not a surprise, and we just need to figure out what this is. So if anyone has any idea on, if you have any experience with this, let me know. Uh, I am gonna take it into Tesla to see what they say as far as uh, you know what their assessment is. Something on the drivetrain, uh, there is a loud like, kind of a grinding noise and I, I didn't know what it was last night but I looked at the brakes the brake the brakes are like completely worn down the pads look like there's nothing left and they've they've gouged like huge uh, lines into the rotor so there's like a grinding noise and the and the brakes need to be replaced so we're gonna replace we're gonna replace those uh, I'm not gonna let Tesla do that I'm gonna I'm gonna do those but there's a clunk I don't know if you heard that clunk when you accelerate there's a kind of a driveline clunk as if the motor or the axles are in slipping or engaging something like that so we're gonna see if we can get that figured out uh, what Tesla says the problem is with that but the nice thing with this and and the risk with risk with any older Tesla is just making sure that the battery the main battery pack the big high high voltage battery pack is good uh, this one still charges up good there's no warnings um, I don't know the age of the battery. I don't know if it's the original battery or if it's been replaced. So that I'm curious to find out. Uh, if you know how to find that out, let me know. I'm gonna, I am going to ask the Tesla Service Center to see if there's, uh, if they can tell me how it's, you know, what, if they can give me the history on the, the any service that was done. The nice thing too with the, this being a rear-wheel drive, it only has one motor in the back, so you don't have to worry about front the front motor. There's really just we worry about the rear motor, and there's very few moving parts on the whole car, so. Uh, most likely, hopefully, hopefully it's just something simple. Uh, maybe a part, maybe a readjustment, maybe something loose. Some, you know, something needs to be replaced. Those brake rotors definitely need to be replaced because it's like creating a metal kind of sound. You guys hear that metal sound? But this still has, for an 85, this is not the performance version. See, it's the model, it's model S85. It's not the performance, but it still accelerates really, really good. So acceleration is good. The suspension does feel good. So there's a lot of good things about this. We just got a few cosmetic things here on the screen, the gauges. The We just got to get the motor kind of looked at figured out and we'll get the brakes replaced uh, the interior is also filthy like this tan this tan interior just has a lot of like smudges a lot of like black marks just that's filthy uh, and it needs to get kind of like a deep clean a deep detail so we're gonna work on that so 
stay tuned to the channel as we kind of get this thing worked out, as we work out any problems, issues, we figure out what's going on. But for being the cheapest Tesla in the United States, uh, this, as it's looking at right now, it's looking like a pretty decent, decent deal. But I guess we'll see what the uh, driveline issue is and go from there. So a few things about this car. One thing that's unique with this, uh, the older Teslas, 12, 13, 14, 15, some 16s, had free supercharging for the life of the car, and it's transferable to new owners. So what I did is when I transferred this car to my Tesla account, I was able to pull up the options, and right at the bottom there are free unlimited supercharging. So that means this car can supercharge for free for the life of the vehicle, which is a really cool feature. Also, one question that I had when I bought this from like basically a dealer, they never took possession of it as far as like the in the, in their Tesla account. When you trade in a vehicle or sell it to a dealer, you just you just put that in the Tesla app and it transfers it out of your name. And so when I bought it, what I had to do in order to get this car into my into my Tesla account, you need to have a Tesla account on Tesla.com. You create an account, but you go in under vehicles and you manage your vehicles and you can add a vehicle that you bought from like a third party. Uh, like a dealer so you go in there and then all I had to do is take a picture of the registration uh, like my my titling paperwork from the dealer and then I took a picture of my driver's license and I entered the VIN number once I did that I, I then went to the screen and it asked me to rename the vehicle three letters it gives you three specific letters to rename the vehicle under settings and then you're able to transfer this car into your Tesla account it showed up right away and then I was able to see all the features and most especially able to see the free supercharging for life of the, the vehicle which is a really cool feature so that's a really cool thing with these older cars if it was ever traded into Tesla they would do away with that free supercharging so this was never traded into Tesla there was just one over owner previously and now the free supercharging transferred to me which is a really cool feature all right, guys, so this is going to be an interesting project as we kind of dive in to see kind of the real issue on the motor on the back, the drivetrain, maybe the axles, the axle shafts. We'll see. We'll, I'll keep you guys updated. So we're going to kind of get started with this, just kind of getting it cleaned out, getting the, the paint kind of polished, interior really clean. And it's going to be kind of a fun project car, so stay tuned to the channel. Guys, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Thanks.